Hello everyone and welcome to the official Shimiji FAQ video. Shimiji are always available at kilkacon.com slash Shimiji when you can click that download now button. But this is for people who are having issues getting Shimiji started or would like to know how to add their own characters or configure Shimiji to work the best for them. Installing Shimiji. Problem one, J and I error or unable to access jar file Shimiji EE. One common problem I have encountered is that when people attempt to run the Shimiji file directly in the zip file, it will show this error. It can also show a different error, which is unable to access file Shimiji EE, and it will just continue to throw errors. The problem here is that this particular Shimiji is still inside of its zip. It needs to be extracted using this extract button here. This can then put all the files into a folder like so, and then you can actually access the real jar file, like so. Problem two, scripting engine is null, unable to install Java or other file association problems. There's a number of issues with Shimiji that can be resolved through the use of what I like to call the shortcut trick, but it does have a prerequisite. First, we need to make sure that you're running the correct version of Java. So to do this, what you need to do is you need to go to your your uh, My Computer or File Explorer and go into either your program files or your program files x86 directories. And then you just check for whether Java is installed. It could be in either of the two folders. Here it's for x86 for me. Then you need to go and check what this file will be called inside of the Java directory. For you it will probably be something in the lines of jre 1.8.0 underscore and then a few other numbers. If you've got something like that, you're, you're good. You need Java 8 to run Shimiji. If you don't have Java 8, I can direct you to the website of Java. Make sure that you're heading to this page, which I can put in the description, and then download one of the three Javas that are offered there. Any, any one of them will work, but then install that version of Java, and then you can progress with the shortcut trick. The second prerequisite for the shortcut trick is to keep in mind the location of your Shimiji directory. Some people I've noticed have put the Shimiji on the desktop. That's really a big no-no in the Shimiji world because then it can't access the image files inside there due to Windows file permissions. This could also be a problem in the downloads directory. Tends not to be as much of an issue, but it can be. So keep that in mind. My suggestion is to always put your Shimiji directory, directory straight into the C drive. Sometimes my documents is fine, but if you are having problems in this regard, Put it in the C drive and then you'll be okay. Now of those prerequisites out of the way, let's get on to creating the shortcut itself. It's a little bit technical, but I'll step you through it. So the first thing we're doing is we're right clicking in the empty space of this folder. We're then gonna go down to new and then shortcut. This brings up this wizard here that we're now going to use to create the shortcut. So if now we're gonna click browse and you, well here you want to go to the location of your Java install. So in my case, that's here in x86, but you may have it in the other program files. You're looking for where your Java isn't located. Once you've found it, you then want to go into the Java installation and then into the bin directory. Now you're looking for a specific program called Java W. Now you may not have the .exe showing on your computer, but just make sure it has the coffee cup icon and then you're okay. Select that item, then click next and call it run Shimiji, just for, just for ease of use. That's the first step. Let's start the second step. We're now going to need to right click on our shortcut and then go down to properties. If you're going to ask me for help for this in the Discord, by the way, this is the screen I need to see. So let's now edit this target line. So I'm going to put my cursor in here at the very end, after the quote, and add a space. Then I'm going to type in dash jar. Then I can type space again and type in shimiji, or oh, another dash, ee.jar. It's important you get that spelling correct. If you don't get it correct, it's not going to work. For the second parameter here, you want to change this to the location of your shimiji directory. So what we could do here is we could just click into this address bar and copy that, and then come down here and paste. You may need to put quotes around it, if it has spaces in the names, but otherwise, that's what you need to do. And that is now the completed shortcut. So we now should be able to run this Shimiji 
and there he is, working just fine. So again, just to make sure we double down on these steps, you add in the space dash jar space shimi g dash ee or dot jar and then the folder name. Both All of these steps are important. But this then forces this guy to work, regardless of any sort of file association or other problems that you may have. Adding new Shimi-G. Once you've got Shimi-G up and running, you'll no doubt want to add your own custom Shimi-G rather than relying on the default Mushroom Man. That's okay, I have two different approaches for you today. So bring up the Shimi-G folder. First I want to draw your attention to the image directory and go inside. And here we have the Shimi G folder. Inside here is the default character. So the easy method of adding a custom character is just to replace these images directly with a new Shimi G that you've downloaded. For this example, I'll be using this Catchamon Shimi G. So we'll just download it now. We'll just click download now again. And then once this little countdown's finished, we'll then click to download the file directly. Skip this ad. And now we have the download button. Let's click it. And then we'll save the file. And here we are. We have inside of our downloads here, the Kachamon Shimiji.zip. So we've got the two options, as I mentioned before, of how to go about adding a custom Shimiji. And in this case, we'll go for the easy option. So what we're gonna do is just go into the image directory of the zip and just select all the Shimiji images, go back to our folder, and just drag and drop, like so. It'll then ask us if we want to replace these files, and we'll click yes we do. And behold, the new character is now installed. So now if we run Shimiji once again, the new character appears. Now we'll cover the second, more advanced way to install a custom Shimiji. For this example, we'll use the Red Fox Shimiji available from Kachamon.com. Let's download that now. And as same as before, we'll just wait the five seconds and then we'll click the skip ad button. Like so. Then we'll click download. So what makes the Red Fox Shimiji more interesting for our example here is that it includes custom XML files. I wanted to take care of those here. So let's go back to our Shimiji folder and open up the new downloaded Red Fox Shimiji. So what we need to do is go into our image directory and we need to create a new folder. So I'm right clicking on the empty space here, going down to new and then clicking folder. I'm gonna call this Red Fox. I'm then gonna go inside this folder and then we go to the zip file, the redfoxshimiji.zip. I'm then going to go into the image directory and then the shimiji directory and then select all of these images. Note how many there are. I'm then going to drag and drop. So let's make some space and then click and drag. These images are now all in place, but there's one more step that we need to do. So I'm going to right click in this empty space, go down to new, and then click folder. And I'm gonna call this folder conf. So this folder acts as an override to the default conf folder. So if we go into here, and then we go back to our zip file and go to the conf of the zip file, we can then take this actions and behaviors XML files and copy them to our C drive Shimiji into the conf folder. So these files here will be run instead of the files in here. So now, when we run our Shimiji, nothing happens. We're still using the default Shimiji. This is where you need to go down to the menu. So if you go down here, you could see this little icon here. It also could potentially be hidden inside. You then need to right click it, go settings and choose Shimiji. And then you could see our Red Fox is now available. So we could turn off the default Shimiji and turn on the Red Fox. But for our example, we're gonna leave both of them on. Then we'll click Use Selected. 
And as you could see, the Shimeji have now both appeared. We have the Mushroom Man and our custom Red Fox, working as intended. The custom animations and all. However, if you want to not have the Mushroom Man anymore, what I recommend is you go into the Shimeji Chooser and just turn him off. If you just delete him without turning him off first, you may bump up into an error that can appear. Um, and the way to resolve that error is to manually go into the comp folder and then edit this settings.properties file. And we'll edit that with notepad. And you could see here the configuration file. You can edit this line here and that will turn off a Shimiji manually rather than having to do it through the program. If you need to do it, it's there waiting for you. And that covers how to add a custom Shimiji to an existing Shimiji installation. Updating old versions of Shimiji EE. In your travels, you may encounter Shimiji that are running an older version of the Shimiji jar. This can be updated manually if you so choose to do it that way. So let's take this example here. This is the Kachamon Shimiji that we were demoing before. It's running a very old version of the jar file, as you can see here. It's the 2014 version. So we can update this using the new version. So let's open up the Shimiji zip file. This is the default new Shimiji. So we need to copy over certain files, but not others. So the first we're going to copy over is the Shimiji jar, like so, and we want to replace it. Excellent. We then want to go into the zip file again and copy over the entire lib directory. Excellent. Now we want to go into the conf folder of the zip file. Now it's important that we don't copy everything. We want to leave these XML files out. We want to copy the rest, however, excluding the settings.properties file. So theme, schema, mascot, logging, language, all the rest, we want all of these. Let's copy these over to the conf folder of that old Shimiji again and replace. And there you have it. This Shimiji has now been updated to the latest version of Shimiji. And this is evident by the fact that you can right click and it's the new style of menus. And right click on the little tray icon, same thing. It's all new. And that's excellent. Shimiji configuration. So at this point, you've got Shimiji up and running and your favorite characters have been installed. But how to configure Shimiji is a question that can elude some people. So the first can be that sometimes the Shimiji icon is not obvious. You don't know where it is. So if you don't know where the Shimiji icon is, you need to go down to the system tray. It's on the start bar. Your start bar will probably be at the bottom. But you need to click the little arrow and there you'll find the Shimiji icon. Sometimes it can be a different character. Artists do like to customize this, but you're looking for an icon that when hovered over will say Shimiji EE. You can right click this to gain access to a number of features. So, for example, you can add additional Shimiji to the screen using that right click feature. You can also have them follow the cursor. Or you could dismiss them randomly so only one remains. You can also use this restore windows feature to bring back windows that have been thrown away. Although sometimes it's a little bit unreliable. This allowed behaviors menu is of special interest. In here, you can turn on and off different capabilities of your Shimiji. If they can do it, this will prevent them from doing it if you don't want them to. So for example, if you only want to have one little companion out at once, you could turn off the breeding cloning feature and then the, the character will only be able to have one out at a time. The transformation feature works in a similar way. If the Shimiji is capable of evolution or changing outfits, the transformation toggle disables that behavior. Throwing windows can also be turned off. If you don't like your Shimiji flinging things around, you could turn that off here. Sound effects, if this is turned off, then the sounds of the Shimiji, if any have been added, will not play. The move between screens is slightly less obvious about what it does. If this is disabled, then the Shimiji cannot leave the one screen you're on of their own accord. It only has an effect in multi-screen layouts, like I have two monitors over here. Let's go down to the settings menu. So in here we've got the Choose Shimiji, which we've shown before. We also have Choose Interactive Windows. So let's bring that up. So you can see the default 
there's things in here. You could see the age of the program with Windows Live Messenger. But this will allow you to add other windows that can be interacted with. So let's, for an example, add the word uh, Shimiji. So if I do this and then click Done, this Shimiji can now be placed on top of this window. How does that happen, I hear you ask? It works off the caption of the window. So because this window contains the word Shimiji, this Shimiji can now walk on it, climb on it, and throw it around. Let's say, however, you wanted to add even more windows. You can add as many as you like to this list, but there's a little trick that you can do to add as many windows as possible. If you add the letter A, the letter E, and the letter U by themselves, one per line, Shimiji will then be able to interact with any window that contains A, E, or U. If you're wondering why O and I don't work, not entirely sure, but they don't, so just leave the A, E, U, and that will cover, you know, 99% of what you're actually going to run into. The final thing in the little settings area I'd like to show off is the scaling feature. So you can use this to have big boys. Let's go turn on two times scaling. And as you can see, the Shimiji is large and in charge. We also have the ability to turn on the HQX filter here. And now you can see there's some anti-aliasing in play. It works okay, it's not perfect, but it's, it's a feature. Now the important thing to consider with any of these options is that they will increase the memory consumption of your Shimiji. So if you have a particularly advanced or uh, well-animated Shimiji, you might want to steer clear of like eight times or the smoothing filter because it gets a little bit too much and it will increase the loading times. But, so, uh, use your own discretion, but it is here if you want to use it. So we'll just turn these off for now. It's particularly useful for people with retinal displays. And of course, there is a language chooser as well. Note, however, that this will uh, only change the descriptions in here if these are using the default names of the actions. If someone's customized these, then the language uh, chooser won't have any effect on them. Shimiji on Mac or Linux. My version of Shimiji is exclusive for Windows. There are, however, other versions of Shimiji that might work for you on Mac or Linux. I cannot offer any support for them because I have nothing to do with them. And maybe one day I will develop a version of Shimiji that works on those other platforms. But for the time being, you are on your own. The one thing I can offer, and I will chuck this link in the description, is someone did write this Shimiji for Mac tutorial. It's fairly lengthy and you may just be stuck, but I'll leave that link for you. Use at your own risk. This concludes the Shimi G frequently asked questions. These are all the questions that I have been asked frequently, but you may have a different question that you wish to ask me, or you might have tried some of these things and failed to make any headway. So in that case, what I suggest you do is you head down to the description and you access that Discord link that will allow you to join the Shimi G Discord server. And uh, I'll, I'll be there to help. And I will ask if you've completed this FAQ first because this is 95% of the issues I deal with. But don't feel intimidated if you do have a problem. Feel free to come along. Bring the screenshot of the shortcut tutorial if you've attempted that. And otherwise, I hope that you enjoy Shimiji. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Shimiji news in the future. There's always things in development. And uh, you have a great day. God bless and good luck getting Shimiji working.